promised, I cut my hair and this is the video showing you my routine. I'm also gonna share the one styling product that I use to condition and style my hair. I actually have it in there now and do you see how soft it is? So stay tuned. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Come on, let's go. to separate it into sections. So since I want the top long, am I in camera? Mm -hmm. So since I want the top long, I'm gonna go and leave that out. Is that Jojo? Mm -hmm. Go see what he's doing, please. Is he throwing up? Right when I start filming, really, bro? Like, you are tripping. So, see how I made that little round circle? Because I want to keep this top portion separate because I'm actually going to blend it once I cut the rest of it. So, this is going in a little squeegee. Don't judge me, y'all. All right, and so, I'm also going to make another separation so right here, I don't know how your hairline is, but right here, I'm gonna go around. So everything below this point, I am going to cut with a one inch guard. Now I'm not gonna be able to um, part it off because it's already kind of short, but I just wanted to say that. So all of this is gonna be cut with a one inch guard. So what I like to do is use a clip and clip that up all the way around because I'm going to separate that. So once I do that, this one got lost a little bit. Now I want you guys to know that I am nowhere near uh, licensed cosmetologist but yeah see that wait a minute yeah so all of this is getting cut with a one inch guard all right And it's not a lot that's going to come off. It's just this part right here. It grows quite a bit for some reason. It actually grows faster than the rest of my hair. So I have to keep this cut low. And this is really more a cleanup as opposed to a full haircut because it really wasn't wolfing too much. I just... So this is still a one inch guard. And so not a lot came out. Or came off, I should say. I'm recording! So all this is coming down. Do I need to pause it? See how I'm just cutting this down? I'm just using a guard, so it's not that bad. It's not rocket science. The interesting part will be when I go to blend it in. So, all right, so now I'm gonna get the front right here 
you see these sideburns right here I hate them when they're all over the place and like right now they're all over the place all of this is going or is coming off I should say all of this is coming off and I'm gonna get the scissors and get in here and clip this a little better so have no fear so all of this is getting cut And then another thing that I do, another thing that I do for the front is I will take just this portion around my ear and just come up. Just like that. See that? It gives me just a little bit of taper. And then I'm going to go back in and use the scissors to cut any straggly babies that could be hanging around. I've been cutting my own hair now for, oh my God, it's been a while. But since I have the guard on there, I don't need the mirror. I can kind of just go. I only use the mirror because you guys were watching. All right, so I got that. So now this part, right here I'm gonna do the blending with the scissors so watch this so I got this okay so you see how this is like really not blended All right, so I'm gonna make my part here and I'm gonna go all the way around. So this, you see this piece right here that I cut with the one inch guard? I'm gonna make sure that I have that in this piece of hair that I'm cutting. So I'm gonna pull out to the end of that one inch and then I take my hand and I pull it out. So all of this from here, up is getting cut because that's the part that's not blended does that make sense let me do it again so I'm gonna part here all right so I have my piece and so I'm gonna take this part y'all can kind of see what I'm gonna end up cutting because I got my one inch part right in my hands I'm gonna pull out to where that one inch part ends and then I'm gonna pull my hand down so I'm at the top of this one all of this has to go all of this is getting out of here all of this is going you see that see how it's now blended sometimes when I would watch tutorials um, I didn't really get an understanding of what they were doing um, I would just see them kind of cutting, and I was really, really confused. So I hope the way that I'm explaining this to you guys makes a lot of sense. So I have grabbed my one inch, woo -woo, woo -woo. I have grabbed my one inch part. It's in my hand, and you see that? So all of this has to go. It's getting out of here. This is going, this is going. And that's going. Does that make perfect sense? All right. So I'm going to go ahead on and fast forward and do the rest. Pull it out. I pull my fingers out and then I check it with the mirror. So I can see, I got confused, in the mirror what needs to go. So once I verify that, I just kind of lean over and cut. And then I check it with the mirror. Did I get it? Bam. Got it. I'm on this side so I can kind of see it pretty good. But I can already see now what I'm going to have to cut, right? Because here I am. And then when I pull it, all of that has got to go. All of that's going. All of that's going. That's gone. 
So now it's blended. And I pretty much keep the same hairstyle. I have changed the shape a couple of times, but I'm really in love with this one. So maybe I'll change it at some point, but I have to find a shape that I like, right? I already see it. I already know what I gotta cut. I already see like that. Can you guys see that? That has to go. That's not blended. Watch, as I'm combing it out, you see this part. That gap has gotta go. So we're gonna blend that in. So I'm gonna pull out, that's where the one inch stops, and I'm gonna bring it down. And it's really not a lot, but it's going. That's it. See, now I have the bloop, per that, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of this out, look at that. See how it's tapered? Let me look at the back. And I can feel if I need to go back in and do something. But with my hair, I got to kind of rake it around a little bit to make sure everything is Gucci. All right. So I'm satisfied so far. Because I have what I call a little bang up front. This part is kind of longer. That piece starting from like right here. I pull it out because I really don't want to cut into that too much. So that little piece just kind of hangs there. Now I'm going to get in there and trim it because it needs to be trimmed. But I'm not going to do too much with it. So. All right. So let's take this. Let's put this here. So now, this part, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So I just kind of grab everything together. I'll comb it up. And since I kind of have it going to the front, I'll start combing from back here. So you see this? I'm going to blend this piece right here because it's coming from the back. Coming from the back, the shortest piece in the back. I've grabbed it, fingers up. Can y'all see that little, what I'm trying to do here? And I'm gonna pull, and I think y'all can guess what's gonna go. That's going, see, that's going. Does my hair fall to the side naturally? Yes. You see this long piece right here? I gotta fix that, I gotta find something to do with that. This one normally falls to the side, so I'm just gonna check it. Looks like it's some business going here. So let me see what's going on. See that? You see this? So I need all of this blended because what happens is I'm looking at my hair through the week and I got all of these straggly pieces. Yes, I said straggly. And I have all of these pieces that are just like, seems like they have nowhere to go. Okay. This falls this way. One thing about curly hair, guys, as you know, it's not like straight hair. It kind of takes a mind and a shape of its own. So you got to kind of be careful. You may cut it one way, but once your hair curls, Stop. I'm filming. Sorry. Put him in his cage, please. Um, once you guys, once your hair dries, it literally has a mind of its own. So this little bang here has grown out quite a bit. So I'm going to use my hands and kind of pull everything forward. So it comes forward and then it goes 
off to the side. So I'm going to take this. You see that? And at this point, I'm just creating like a little. I don't want to take a lot off of this. I'm just trimming it a little bit. And then I'm going to take it and comb it forward. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, my hair kind of just does its own thing. And I know that there's going to come a time where I'm going to have to cut this little bang because it is just kind of doing its own thing and I don't want to let my bang go y'all but I'm gonna have to so I'm gonna do just some maintenance clipping it's gonna be shorter I'm upset about that all right so y'all see what I'm doing I'm taking the shortest part from the top and I am just gonna pull it and I'm gonna cut into it here god I don't want to do this I got to. All right. So, this is how it looks when it's been cut. So, this is a full cut. This is it. Now, I don't know if y'all probably don't know this, but all of this on my head is gray. All of it. So, I've been graying since I've been like 15. And all of this is gray. So, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not ready to embrace my gray yet so i'm just gonna put a little beijing around there but yeah this is it this is the cut this is my cut that i do all the time see how i got my little shape there can you see that and i am going to i can look at it and see what i've done I am going to do a few more things, though, to finish this up. So I will take... I got a lot going on. So this... I'm going to take this bad boy right here, right around my edges. And... You see that? The only thing that I am going to do keep this kind of crisp. Let's cut. That's it. Ooh, chow. That's it. Let's clean that up a little bit. And then this right here I'm going to go just clean that up a little bit not too much I just don't want all of this messiness here and I don't like to use clippers because I really don't want a sharp look I just like it clean that's all I just like it clean I don't really want a sharp look this side is a little harder for me to cut I don't want a sharp look. So this is going to go. Yep, I just want to clean this up just a little bit. And then these little sideburns of mine that I will be dying. So by the time y'all see the finish clip, all this gray is going to be gone. That one is fine. This one looks like it needs a little bit of taming. Let's see what I need to do here. I'll just snip that. Yeah, because I like for them to hang down and I don't like a sharp, sharp. Now the last thing that I'm going to do, so far what I've been using is a half inch guard. So now I'm going to take this one fourth, is it quarter or one fourth? Um, right here at the nape of my neck, I'm just going to bring that in just a little bit, like literally just a tad around my neck. So I'm going to grab my mirror and right at the bottom where it looks like it gets a little crazy looking, I'm going to get that. Oh yeah, I got gray hair back here too. 
but I don't really worry about that. It's that gray hair in the front that I just will not tolerate. My grandmother had it, my mother has it, everybody has it. But I will not tolerate it. So I'm not doing a whole bunch of cutting. I am just cleaning it up. That's it. And so once I wet it, this is going to look a lot shorter than what it is. Um, but as you can see, all of the kind of curliness I had in the beginning is gone. So, I just do. Oh, yeah. So that's it. That's the shape I want. That's the one I want. I love it. There we go. So now I'm going to wash this, and the next time you see me, this do will be done. The thing about Beijing is. Beijing, whatever it's called. My grandmother used to use this stuff. Um, you don't want to make it too thick because if you do, it tends to stain really, really, really bad. I'll just mix my own water and I'm just going to get rid of these little straggly grays. did use the the Beijing but when you make it and it's thin as I was saying when you make the Beijing mixture thin and it's not really thick it doesn't dye your skin it literally just sticks to the hair and then that's it so you don't have those um, black marks on your head where it shows that you've dyed your hair and this conditioner, it also tingles a bit. It looks like I got a little bit right there. But that's not bad. I can get rid of that. And so especially the part that I put the color on, I'm going to make sure that I really put some conditioner on that one. I find this conditioner um, in the beauty supply store, it's normally near the silicone mix. Um, so yeah. So this is really going to get deep condition there. And my ends are going to get a nice coat of this stuff on there. trying to do this well not all day and this one has been being bad okay all right so I did everything I did the cut I got rid of my gray edges I did a deep condition and you really can't tell from here what's going on but as I said this is the only thing that I use I have come to fall in love with it and you don't need, or I don't use, a lot. Can you see that? Just that much. And I start with my ends more than anything because 
I don't want to weigh it down. And even when I put it on my edges, it slicks those down too. I don't know what's in this stuff. But I can just put this on my hair as a styler. And it really, really works. So this is it. This is all I do. Um, I will let it dry. I'm not going to um, blow dry it or anything. But I just make sure that I put it everywhere. So let's comb these down. Remember I cut those. Let's pull that down a little bit. Nothing too heavy. And so I'll flip it to the back so that I can get the sides where I want them. Run that in. Get that little piece right there. And then from here, I kind of do a little shaky thing. Make sure all the curls are separated and then I can see where I need to add more or blend it in. But I promise y'all, I don't use a lot of this. And so this dries. And when I first cut my hair, I guess that's the same with everybody. My curls are so tamed. And this stuff, it doesn't make them heavy. And the curls pop. Wait until it dries. You guys are going to see. So I just have to make sure initially that everything is coated. And so while I'm letting my hair dry, I don't bother it or manipulate it. I don't start messing with it until it completely dries. So this is very important that everything is coated. And I also take this time to make sure that I don't need to cut anything else. Where's my mirror? So I can see the back. I like to take and pull this down. It just kind of naturally see I like that. It just kind of naturally does its own thing. And so I just make sure that all of this Pull it, pull it down, but you can see how I went in and I did cut it. You can see it from the side here. So I just want to make sure that all of this is coated. You see that? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. And as you notice, my hair is really not thick at all. Only when it dries does it look like it has a little bit of volume to it. That's it. And then my little babies here in the front. Just make sure I got it all. So this is how it's going to dry. It's going to look really small, really flat, until I do some fluffing. So you guys will see the end result. That's it. There we go. Um, so just don't forget to subscribe. Pause it. I can just go from there, right?
I can just pick it up from there, right? All right, 